over by the like paints on the wall is where you're gonna find the paper for painting. So we are gonna wanna use this project paper. So we're gonna look for the toucan. It is a thicker paper. It is perfect for painting because it needs to be nice and thick. The painting supplies you'll need are right by the sink. So in the cabinet, we have our warm colors and cool colors. If you open up the cabinet, you'll find all the paints. You will need a, probably a step stool to reach the paint. So grab a step stool and then you'll be able to reach them carefully. The next cabinet over is our neutral colors like black, gray, white, tan, and you'll find them all in there. Then you'll also need a paint cup or a water cup. So you can use the big guy or you can use a tiny one. Um, we only need to fill up them half. So cups only need to be filled up halfway. These little brush basins only need to be filled up on one side. So whatever side has the little bumps, you will fill it up with water. And you don't need that much. Then you will also need paint brushes. So paint brushes are in the end cabinet. We'll look for the little brush label. And they are right in this cabinet. If you'd like, you can also have a paint shirt that will help protect your clothes. And then your paintings will all go on the drying racks to dry. You might also need tape to tape off your paper to get that nice white border. So the tape are either in the tape dispensers. Do not use this clear tape. That is not for taping off your paper. So these masking tapes, the ones that are like tan, use those. There's also more in the drawer by the scissors. So there's tons of more rolls of tape. When you're using the temper paints just to paint, there's gonna be times where you will need to draw it first. So here's like an example where I drew something first and then I just painted it. So you can always just free draw yourself and then paint what you have um, without using like a coloring page or without using Osmo. So you can always draw something yourself. Um, make sure that you at least have an idea about what you want to draw and you're taking your time on it. So you can always draw first. So you need that paper and a pencil. And then you'll draw first, then paint it. There's also times where you are just using the paintbrush and you don't have to draw anything out. With this, I would look at a picture and try and have it look like something. So have an idea about what you want it to look like and then you're just using a paintbrush to paint it all. You're not drawing anything. Um, all these don't have any coloring pages. They're not drawn. They're just using a paintbrush to draw. I would definitely look for a photo that you want to copy first. Um, always, if you have black somewhere on your painting, do that last. Black always looks best when it's done last. And it can always mix with colors and make it look really bad. So if you have anything that has black on it, do it the last, last step. 